want to talk this evening though a little bit about the economy because as Denise has rightly said, that is going to be the key battleground for the election come 2015. And we're halfway through this Parliament now, two and a half years in, and we have the autumn statement this week, which is the sort of like midterm exam for the government on how they're getting on in terms of delivering what they said they would. And if we remember back to 2010 in the Rose Garden and the coalition agreement, they said that during the course of this Parliament, the economy would grow in every year, unemployment would fall, and that by the end of this Parliament, the structural deficit would be reduced and debt would be falling as a share of GDP. So how are they getting on in terms of these targets? Well, I'm afraid that they've failed on every single one of them. Economic growth, we now know, is not happening. The economy is going to shrink this year by 0.1%. In fact, in the newspapers today, it was reporting the possibility of even having a triple dip re recession, mm -hmm. unprecedented in our country's history. Unemployment is now expected to be higher during the course of this Parliament than the Chancellor previously set out. Unemployment today is higher at the general election, two and a half million people out of work, a third of them out of work for more than a year, and nearly a million young people out of work. And it's not rocket science to know that if you've got an economy that's flatlining or shrinking, if you've got more people out of work claiming benefits and fewer businesses succeeding paying taxes, what happens is the deficit doesn't come down as the government had planned, it goes up. And in the first six months of this year, the deficit is 10% higher than it was a year ago. And really unbelievably, two and a half, uh, half years into this parliament, and we're no closer to their plans to eliminate the structural deficit than we were when the government came to power. In 2010, they said it would take five years. What did they say this week? It would take five years. Not five years from 2010, but five years from today. So we've made no progress in two and a half years. Despite the